Good morning, everyone, or almost afternoon. Um, so it is Wednesday, so thank you all so much for joining me today. Well, uh, what do we got going on today? Not much. So right now we are actually going to have some bagels with some strawberry cream cheese. And then uh, I'll be going over the Walmart and Piggly Wiggly haul. And the friend mail, which I didn't do in yesterday's video because... Um, yeah, I ended up going to sleep and I never did an outro or did the friend mail. So I'll be going over that today. And I'll be making the magnets for the nice lady at the weekly food pantry. Because that's tomorrow and I want to make sure I take them to her. So yeah. Other than that, for supper tonight. Um, we still have a little bit of shredded chicken from when I made chicken, or chicken quesadillas on Sunday. Uh, Glenn's not much for leftover chicken or chicken... In general but um, I'll be using the leftover chicken for quesadillas again and then Glenn's gonna have a char broiled patty encore and maybe make some of those uh, bacon instant mashed potatoes with the bacon in it so yeah that's what we're gonna do for supper I've got the roast uh, thawing out for tomorrow I'll be making big beef tips so yeah that's what we got going on today so stay tuned All right, everyone, so here is the grocery haul between Walmart and Piggly Wiggly. As you can see, it's not a big haul. I haven't been doing, like, big hauls. Just uh, pretty much getting what we need and a couple of things we might want, but not, like, huge hauls. All right, so uh, we got some sour cream, and Walmart has these bigger containers of the Philadelphia strawberry cream cheese spread. Uh, normally they're like half that size, but I saw this and I knew I had to get it because we always run short by the end of the six pack of bagels. <laughs> so I got that. Uh, I went ahead and stocked up more on uh, fancy piece uh, cat food for the kitties. So I got like 24 cans there, so that should be good for just a little bit. I needed some more tea bags for my iced tea and my hot tea. So uh, they were out of the Great Value brand, so I had to get Lipton, which is fine. And then got some uh, waffles, got some onions, avocados. I haven't had avocados in a little while, so I'm kind of tasting them. And since I'm having a quesadilla tonight, might cut up an avocado for that. And then got the Encore, which is in the oven right now. I did get some Intamin donuts. I, I do have to have those in the winter because they got a nice snap when they're cold. So I keep them out in our hallway where it's colder. So yeah. <laughs> and then I got two Fritos cheese dip, uh, one jalapeno, one uh, regular cheese, mild. Uh, we do have some Tostitos still. So I thought I'd get some cheese dip. I did get another uh, beef rump roast for our tamales on Christmas. It's a little smaller than the one I got last week. And uh, so, so yeah. And a pizza crust. I figure we'll have a pizza sometime. Um, just regular pizza, not a taco pizza, just a regular pizza. Mm. Got some Rocky Road ice cream. Uh, we still have some ice cream cones. So, and if you've never had Rocky Road ice cream, the Great Value brand, it is really good. So, uh, if you haven't had it, try it definitely. Got a big can of tomato soup, uh, just if we want some tomato soup on a cold day. Got two bags of fideo. Um, if you don't know what fideo is, it's like really fine spaghetti. Uh, my mom used to make fideo when we were growing up, so whenever I make it, I'll show you. I've done it in videos before, but I'll just keep up with it. Did get some hot dog buns, and we had hot dogs for lunch, so there's only four left. And another pack of eggs. So that is all we got from the grocery store, Walmart and Piggly Wiggly. Uh, if you remember last week, we received uh, two gift cards to Piggly Wiggly. So what I got at Piggly Wiggly, I spent one of the gift cards. So we still have one gift card left. Okay, so that is our grocery haul. All right, everyone. So, um... It's almost time for the weekly food pantry. Again, I'm not going to go stand out there in this cold and wind. Um, so I'm probably going to catch the tail end of it. 
Um, my goal is not to go to receive food um, because by the time I get there, a lot of it will be gone anyway, and I'm absolutely okay with that. My goal for going today is to give that nice lady who always thinks about me and gives me the dream catcher stuff to give her a Christmas card and some magnets that I made her. So I just wanted to show you what I made her. Uh, I made her this uh, Christmas card. It's got a couple cardinals and I just simply wrote thank you and Merry Christmas. So I just wanted to give her something back and I covered up what the, the sayings were. But this is a, a magnet I made a long time ago. Um, well, I actually made the Fisco magnet right now, but the picture and phrase itself a long time ago. So this is a photo I took years ago. But I put the Serenity Prayer on there, and I thought she might like that. And then this one is just living, living life one day at a time. And then this one is a sunflower that simply says thank you. So these stickers obviously are on the outside uh, just to close the little uh, uh, the little baggie that the magnets are sitting in. So I want to get those to her today. Um, there is a pantry next week as well before Christmas, but if for some reason I can't make it or whatever, I want to make sure I get it to her. So I'm going to go to the pantry in just a little bit so I can drop these off to her. All right, everyone. So this is friend mail time. So I I received well, Glenn and I received not just me, but you all included Glenn in all of it. So I appreciate that so much, and Glenn does as well. So thank you for that. So Glenn and I received a lot of love mail from you guys, and I wanted to show you guys. And after the cards, there's more stuff to show. So all right, and. I'm actually going to attempt to remember what the who the card came from without looking at the envelope or the card itself. Okay, <laughs> so here we go. And one thing also that you all remembered or thought of that I love birds and we love animals and the old-fashioned Santa Claus. And <laughs> you guys just hit it on the on the nail. It just everything all the cards reflect us so thank you all so much all right so this first card here and i'll pick them up but i won't look at them because the names are in them um look at all those birds it says peace and this came from patricia okay so <laughs> thank you patricia and and Patricia, let me know in the comments, do you like to go by Patricia or Patty? Let me know. I, I always call by your name uh, unless you let me know, okay? And this beautiful card also, uh, look at those birds. This came from Jackie, who is just Jackie on YouTube. But yeah, that's absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much, Jackie. All right, let's go over here. This card here came from Sheila and look at that more birds now Sheila I'm not quite sure how to pronounce your last name but it's uh, it starts with a C I'm not going to attempt it because I'll probably butcher it so, <laughs> so but I know it's Sheila and on the envelope uh, she had this little puffy sticker on there it's cute with the coffee cup take your time that's right take your time in life all right thank you so much Sheila very beautiful. This card here is a birthday card, and you can see there's a bird on there, and there's a bird right there. I spotted them, and beautiful flower. This is a birthday card from Judy, Judy Griffin. Thank you so much, Judy. Appreciate that beautiful card. And then over here, look, animals on there too. Deer, the fox, the bird, squirrel. Absolutely beautiful, and there's animal or squirrels up here as well and this came from Roxanne and her husband and Roxanne on YouTube is at home in Arizona thank you so much Roxanne I appreciate it beautiful card love these cards absolutely love them this card here the cute little birds there and I, I love the scenes on all of these cards 
Uh, this is from also from Judy Griffin. This is a Christmas card where the other one was a birthday card. Thank you so much, Judy. Beautiful. I love it. All right, I'm going to go back here. That is an absolutely gorgeous, just gorgeous card. It's, three, it's 3D. All of this sticks out. Beautiful. I love it. This is from B. Um, Brenda, but she goes by B. B, this is absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much. Yeah, that is gorgeous. And then B also sent a birthday card. And it's all nice and glittery with a cupcake there. That is beautiful. Thank you so much, B. And then this card here, I'll go to that one last um, because there's something else with that card. And this gorgeous card, look at that old-fashioned Santa Claus with the animals. Looks like a polar bear, a fox, squirrel up there. Absolutely beautiful. We love old-fashioned Santas and then animals on top of it is beautiful. This comes from the De La Paz family. And on YouTube, it's Tina De La Paz. Thank you so much, Tina, and your family. Really appreciate it. Beautiful card. Thank you so much. Oh, I'm doing pretty good remembering who these came from. And this card... This card right here. Beautiful. Look at that. And I'm going to have to, uh, oh, I can remember who this came from. Hold on. Give me a second. There's Patricia. Oh, no, I remember. I remember. This came from Sherry Oswald. Yes. Now, I don't know if you go by Cherry or Sherry, but it's spelled like Cherry with an I. But this came from, I'm going to say Sherry because I know another Sherry that spells it with a CH, but I'm going to go with that. Let me know if I'm wrong. But this beautiful card came from Sherry Oswald. So thank you so much, Sherry. I appreciate it. Absolutely beautiful card. Thought I was going to have to cheat there. <laughs> I knew if I just, like this, take your time. If I, knew if I, I knew if I just took my time out, it would come back to me. All right. This beautiful velvet card with the gold deer on there came from Kendra. Thank you so much, Kendra. Yeah, that card is all velvet. Beautiful. And Kendra also sent... Um, now, all these cards in their envelopes came with, you know, the envelope seals. And Kendra's came with the big red truck. And a lot of the envelopes uh, were matching cards. Like the bird envelopes came with a matching bird, or the bird cards came with matching bird envelopes. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, Kendra's came with a big red truck. Now, if, I don't know if you noticed, but I have all the envelopes face down, so no addresses are showing. But in Kendra's card, she also, that's cute, I like that, Joy. She also sent in a recipe for... Um, she called it, oh, I'm going to look in the card for, it was, uh, reindeer something, reindeer munch. I was going to say munch. <laughs> I just want to make sure. This is a recipe for what she calls reindeer munch. And it sounds a lot like, uh, what we in Wisconsin call puppy chow. And so, yeah, we're going to go ahead and make this. Um, I don't know if we'll make the amount that's on here because it sounds like a lot but it has roasted peanuts golden graham cereal raisins uh, you have to put butter in there white candy coating coarsely chopped creamy peanut butter confectionate sugar which is like uh, powdered sugar and milk uh, the green and uh, red milk chocolate m and so we are going to make that, and I'll do a video on that. Thank you for the recipe, Kendra. So, all these cards, like I said, absolutely gorgeous. Love them. 
And I thank you, and Gwen and I thank you so much for thinking of us. All right, so here is the other half of friend mail. And we received a package from B um, and also Corey. So all of this came in the package from B. So I'll go over everything. Thank you so much, B. We can't tell you how much we appreciate you guys thinking of us. It, it means a lot to us. And B also sent stuff for the kitty cats, some kitty cat treats. They loved it. Yes, they loved it. Um, this one's empty. I just put them all in one. <laughs> but these are Fancy Feast Duels. This is the salmon flavor, and this is the uh, chicken. And I now our cats are normally not treat cats. They normally didn't care for treats. But when we put these down, they absolutely scarfed them. So, <laughs> and they were just meowing for more. So they loved them. Thank you so much, B, for thinking of our kitties. Really appreciate it. And then B also sent us a couple ornaments of our initials. So there's a snowflake with the G. Can you guys see that? For Glenn. And there's one with the C for Karina, obviously. Those are beautiful. Thank you so much, B. I'm going to hang... Now, we don't have a Christmas tree, but I'm definitely going to hang these up. They're beautiful. And then B also sent some candy. Uh, she said there's a candy shop there. And she got these big uh, candy canes from there. This is the normal peppermint one. And she also sent a uh, same size one of cinnamon. It was all red. Uh, Glenn has already eaten that. <laughs> now, he actually... Uh, Cinnamon candies, he uh, puts in his coffee. He likes the taste of the cinnamon in his coffee. So he crushed some of the candy cane up and threw it in his coffee. And then he just kind of ate the rest of it. <laughs> but it was, uh, so thank you, uh, B. Uh, Glenn, Glenn ate one already. Here's the peppermint one. So we'll be eating that one. And she also sent a uh, Lindor, Lindor chocolate stick. Uh, this is milk chocolate. And we are definitely going to enjoy that. And then this is the Lindor Milk Chocolate Truffle. My favorite candy. The Lindor Milk Chocolate Truffles. This Now they sell them in uh, uh, truffles. Like in the little balls. And these are the truffle sticks. So yes, I love those. Glenn will not get any of that one. <laughs> and then uh, Santa Twix. I love Twix as well. And Reese trees, I love Reese trees as well. <laughs> Glenn, Glenn's in the background saying, and he won't get none of those either. <laughs> Thank you so much, B. It was that was so, yeah, that was uh, it was just so unexpected uh, to get all this. Um, yeah, when I went to the PO box and there was like all these Christmas cards in there. It was just amazing. So, also, um, this big box of, there's 100 tea bags in there. Uh, Brody's Famous Ed Edinburgh Tea. Now, Edinburgh, I knew it was in Scotland. So, this is Scottish tea. So, it's black tea. So, we are definitely going to give that a try. Thank you so much, Corey. That's really appreciated. Man, we we are so blessed that you guys think of us. I mean, we we can't even express how grateful we are. I mean, not only for the gifts, not only for the cards, just the, the friendship alone and the caringness, and just the thoughtfulness is is beyond what we expected this to become of this YouTube channel. So we love our little community here, and I want to keep it that way. So, thank you all. All right, everyone. So, it is supper time. So, right now I have some of uh, this Encore charbroiled patties in the oven for Glenn. And he's going to have some uh, scalloped potatoes with that. And then I'm going to have the, I'm going to eat some of that leftover chicken. So with the tortillas and the cheese, I'll just have some more chicken quesadillas since it's one of my favorites. So I don't mind it so much. 
All right, so uh, one side dish Glenn has with some of his meals is called uh, wax beans. I don't know if you've ever heard of it. Um, but it almost looks like a green bean, but lighter in color. So I've already uh, opened the can and drained it. So all he likes is for them to be in there. I just put them in a microwave, microwave safe bowl. So that's what they look like. And then just put a little bit of milk in it. Not that much. See, it just covers the bottom. And then throw some butter in it. And some pepper. And Glenn likes a lot of pepper. All right, so when everything else is ready, I'll just throw that in the microwave until it's hot, and that's it. All right, folks, so uh, we are ready to eat supper. So there are my quesadillas with some avocado and uh, sour cream. And then there's uh, Glenn's charbroiled patties with some au gratin potatoes. So we're going to eat now, and I'm going to close the video out with that. So thank you all so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And with that, remember to live life, be good to yourself, and be good to others. Until next time.